So we are not in the collections now. We are going to make a check whether everything is collected or not. Thank you. So we are done the collections. We are now continuing our activity on this now. Thank you for sharing. <clears throat> so if you go to the monitor process, the load entity has to get completed. Once when the load is completed, the collections are completed. We are now made a form of a full collection actually because we had time. And so what happens? So many things have got succeeded. But still, what happens? The uh, stage data has to be deleted. Then the last set of concurrence fine go there. It is yet to come now. Fine. It's now still running actually. When you have most of the loads is completed, we'll now go there, go to the plan inputs, and then query for this now. Fine. One T2, I'm going to query now. Fine. One T2, I will now query. Thank you, consortium. So here the components of the one T2 are what? Once again, before this, what happens? Let us now save it now. Thank you, we'll now save it. We'll now go there. So we'll now save this file now. We'll now go to the what fusion product of OM. <coughs> I will not put in the OM records. Fine, click on it now. Go there. So this one uh, up to 31 is not now fine. I will not make it as a 33 because 32, I'm going to make a back-to-back -back make at a 9.45 p.m. India. I'm going to begin now. Fine. So I'm going to wait. And then I will not record only from sales order. The remaining will not be recorded. It will be told to you. Fine. You can even watch it actually. So this will be 33. So 32 will be inserted as a back-to-back -back make three. Now. Go there. Right click on that. You will not rename it now. I will not rename it. So go to the rename now. Fine. It will be 33 now. Fine. 33. Okay, go there. I will now say ATO <laughs> configurator. One. Fine. So ATO configurator one is the one. 33. 32 will be filled in the night actually. So I will be uploading it later. So you go there. And then we'll now go to this place. Fine. So in one T2, we have items from what? 09 up to 21 now. Fine. 09 up to 21. We'll now go and then make a check now. Fine. One T2 and then make a search now. Fine. 09. Up to 22. Thank you. You know, make a search. Keep on search. So you can see what happens 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Everything is coming. <clears throat> so all these things are there. Up to 21 is there. Fine. So numbers is not. Why it's not coming in the haphazard manner here? 11 is coming. 09, where is it? 09 is not visible at all. Oh, it is there in the bottom. Right? <clears throat> so go there. Keep on it. It was already there in the bottom. And the matter will be there. <clears throat> so, all that. so everything is there. Fine. Similarly, what happens? One T three. If you go on and search now, frankly, on it. So this has to be collected first of all. If the collection is not done, it will not work at all. One T three. You now see all the files. So go there and then expand the name. <clears throat> so expand the name still for that. So it's called what is called two three four two three four. Two three four. Everything is there. So two three four two three four. <clears throat> what happened to the first one now? One T three zero one is missing now. Fine. Ah, three. Maybe the collection may be still going on now. I'm not very sure about it. On the 002 or three are collected actually. Fine. The two, three, four are collected. Fine. One has to be collected. The model also has to be collected. Fine. I will not make a search again. So the collections are still going on. Fine. Keep on search. It has to come. Go there. 002. Fine. All the five has come. It took some time actually. Fine. So it took some. So one, two, three, four. All the four option classes in the model was there. Fine. In the zero, the organization also is there. Fine. We are not worried about zero. We are worried about the zero only. So we will now go to the ATP setup. So click on, we'll now go to the ATP setup. Thank you. We'll now go there and then perform the ATP setup section. Click on. So the collection is now complete. We'll now go to the ATP setup. So thank you. God. I will now go to the place. Why it is showing, it is showing two times now? Because no. zero, zero is also enabled for collection actually in mission. So normally we don't enable the master for collection. So since they have enabled zero, zero, zero also for collection, it is now showing twice actually. It is on zero, 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 right. and zero, 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 two. Okay, fine. But but everything was showing under 002 only, right? No, no, no. Five are in 001 now. And you see, I go there. Zero. One T3. Fine. One T3. And then make a search now. Fine. Five of them are on 000. Fine. Go there. And then these five are in 000. These five are in 001. 002. So five okay, on 002 okay. and then five on 000. Okay, fine. Got it? Okay. Go there. It's all done now. Now, what happens? We'll now go to the place and click on it. We'll now give a cancel and then we'll now set up the GOP now. Fine, click on it. Click on the home icon. <clears throat> so click on the home icon and then we are going to set up the GOP now. Fine, I will now go to the order management and then set up the GOP. <clears throat> we'll now go to the place and click on it. We'll now go to the order management. We we'll go to the order management and then here I will now go to what? Uh, the GOP now. Fine, click on GOP. The first activity is what? The supply chain ATP. Now. <clears throat> so click on it and then I will now go to the what? Manage ATP rules now. I've already created on one T3 actually. Fine. One T3, I've already created now. Fine. One T3, I've already created. Fine. Click on search now. Fine. So I did it. So I did it. Fine. Click on edit. I already did. So one T3, fine. The supply chain ATP. So here we are enabling everything. And remember, this ATP rule is for balancing your demand and supply from a pure order management perspective. These setups, as well as these setups for planning actually. 
they are for planning so once when you learn planning they will explain you a lot on these setups as well as these setups got it come back no no and remember it will never give you the scheduled ship date at all scheduled ship date will be given by the company manufacturing company let us say if a requested date today is what today is 2nd april and then we will not say after 3 days only we can ship so we are going to ship the ssd by rd plus 3 the request date plus 3 will be the ssd fine likewise it will be setting it up so ssd will be set by the company or the customer will say i want on 6th fine i want on 6th of april if you are going to delay it i don't want it so the csr will be putting the customer's request date fine either the customer will decide or otherwise we will decide but planning will not decide planning will give a recommendation of pr and work order only and then if that is not possible it will ask you to ship the ssd to a, for the further read actual it will be giving a recommendation to ship it fine if the customer is not accepting it we have to do some or other and planning will now give a shifting of this fine. very clear on this now okay now you go to the atp rule assignment any doubts please ask me now on the now now it's up you go to the atp rule atp rule assignments i'm going over so here what i did is before i start in the in the afternoon itself what happens i have already created my 11th item up to 21st 11 to 21 i already created now the 9th and 10th has just been created so you can see that 11 to 21 is already added i will add and remember every standard component must be available on the atp rule on an item organization level if it is going to be a configured item and then the option classes need not be added there is no need to add the option classes on the atp rule but all the standard components must be available over here fine all the standard components plus model plus the model fine so model plus all the standard components must be available whereas this is not required on the atp rule now you got it now this is not required on the atp rule you got it any doubts so go there so 9 and 10 i just created now only so i will now add the 9 and 10 so go there click on plus now fine let me add the 9 and 10 so go there i will now make it as what item organization i go there so it is 002 i go there i will now say drop it down 9 and 10 i am going to add now so click on search i will now search for 1t2 now fine 1t2 And then click on search now. Fine, one two is going to come. So one two nine, I'm adding it. I'm clicking on it. I'm adding nine. Similarly, ten also will add it. But the remaining I've already added the afternoon itself. Click on plus. So click on plus. Fine, go there. Drop it down. I will now make the item organization. Fine, go there. The zero zero two. Fine, go there. Count. And then one t two. Fine. Drop it down and then make a search now. Fine. Drop it down and then make a search. Fine, click on search. And then the tenth item I'm going to add now. So go there. So the one t two. One t two and one t three. You make a change to your prefixes and then do it now. Fine. One t two and one t three. because everybody will be clashing on the numbers now fine everybody is going to work on it will be clash and that's it fine so my atp rule is ready so and the one more thing fine click on plus i have to add the model also and add the model also fine so go to the item organization and then i have to add the model also so it is 1t3 now fine 1t3 is the bottom model fine click on it i will now add only one now fine click on search in 1t3 there will be three now fine 1t3 is the one make a search now fine <clears throat> make a search i will now add only the desktop model fine the first one fine the remaining ones i will not add that is not required so the atp rule must have the model and standard components available there now fine for promising the customer now so 2 3 4 5 is not required only one is required and select it and click on it and that's it fine my atp rule is ready the models and standard components must be available on the atp rule assignment set at the item org level there are multiple levels are there they will all be explained in the planning itself planning will explain in the category level item level and organization level whereas for our gop what happens the item org is the only level which is required actually. Fine. We are now working on the GOP actually. Okay, fine. Would save and close by which what happens? The ATP rule is now complete. We'll now go to the sourcing rule now. Fine. So for a make, we had to have two sourcing rules. Thank you, Connor. We'll now make the two sourcing rules. So go to the manager. I am now using one T three as my prefix. Now, thank you, Connor. Plus now, fine. Let me make a make sourcing rule now. Thank you, Connor. Plus. Let me make a make source. Fine. The one T three. Fine. I will now say make at fine zero zero two. Make a meaningful name on every rule now, so that we will understand what exactly is going to do now. Thank you, Connor. I am putting it fine. So it is the local, and then I will now go to manufacture it at zero zero two, zero zero two is the one. So click on plus now. Fine, I am going to do it. So go there. So good actions, and then go to add a row, and then I am going to add a row. Make it now. So drop it down. I will now make it the make it. Fine. The organization will be coming automatically. The allocation is going to be hundred, and then this one. And there are multiple combinations and permutations are there. When you learn planning, you will understand multiple ranking, and then multiple allocation levels. <laughs> now they say even multiple levels of ranking and allocation has come in your. GOP itself, no? that is what one of my students told me. So in December they brought in even the multiple allocation percentages and rank, but I have not experimented, so I am unable to comment on this. But it is available very well in planning actually. So rank one, sixty percent; rank two, so forty percent. Now it is splitting it. That is what my student told me in the uh, in the December. 
what happens? He told me that now it has also come, sir, in the in this thing. Fine, can you? Uh, yeah, I don't have any time to experiment on this. No, fine, you do it now. And that's it. So my make cut rule is ready. It's a local rule. Make cut. What happens? Zero zero two is a grade out. Fine, hundred percent and one. Fine, you must say them close. Now let me make one more sourcing rule for transfer. No, fine, you know. I got to transfer to the customer. No, fine, you know. I will not say it is one t three. One t three. I will not say transfer. Transfer to customer. No. So transfer to customer is one. I'm not making it fine with that. So transfer to customer, fine. Take over it. And then put the description of fine. It's a global actually. Fine. Click on plus and then do it now. And then here actions and then go to add a row. Fine with that. I'm going to add a row. So here, what happens? I will not say transfer from. So transfer from 00 to R. 00 to R and go there. So go to the allocation is 100 percent and go there one. That's it. Both the sourcing rules which are required for a back-to-back -back make is now made. We are not going to make a back-to-back -back make actually. We will now configure it and then make a back-to-back -back make. Right? And save and close. It is not done. So we'll, now we will not go there. I will not go to what? I will not go to the manager assignment set. No, fine. Go to the manager assignment set. Then I am going to do it. Now, fine. Manage those things. Let me query my one T three. Now, fine. One T three. I am going to query. Now, fine. Click on it. I know correct. Fine. So click on it. Now, I will not add both the entries. And remember, for every make, buy, and transfer, you will have two two entries. But for drop ship, there will be only one entry. For for these things, what I will be having? Thank you. Come plus. Okay. Ah, thank plus. <clears throat> and then here, the first entry is what item organization level. And there are plenty of levels are there. They will all be taught in a, in a planning training. Fine. Planning training will be using so many levels, actually. Fine. They will be taught in a planning training. But for a GOP level, item org and item. And then for a dropship, only item. Go that one. Item org and item. Fine. Go Organization is what? 002. Fine. Go there. No. Item is what? I will now put my master data. Fine. It is a 1T3. And then give it a app. <clears throat> this is what? Starts with what? 1T3. Fine. Make a search now. Fine. Click on it. 23. So the first item, the model item, I'm going to choose. I'm going to choose. So two, three, four, five are option classes. I'm not choosing it. Fine. I'm not choosing the model item. So go there. Sourcing rule. Fine. I will not say one, two, three. <clears throat> one, two, three. Give it time. So I will not choose what. Uh, first is what item org is going to be. Made. So it is going to be manufactured at this place and then brought it to zero two, zero zero two. Fine. Click on it. Then afterwards we are going to ship it. No, fine. Fine. Now go to the place. I will not ship it to the customer. Fine. Item and then go there. I will not put one, two, three, zero one and then give it time. <clears throat> go there. Click on it. Sourcing rule. And then I will not put one D three. And then give it up. So here I will not put what I come on. So click on it. Sourcing rule and go one T three and then give it up. I will not put what transfer customer. So for make buy and transfers, you will have two to entries. For drop ship, you will have only item level entry now. Any doubts on this now? So my GOP setups are complete for a back to back make now. Good then, fine. Everybody is stun bounded, I think. <laughs> Nobody is asking any question at all. <laughs> okay, fine. Go there. So it's not done. And then we already set up the profile for this. No, fine. On the MSP default, we already set up the profile. Profiling is not required. Thank you. Please do not log in and then do anything. No, fine. Please allow me to work on it. Otherwise, what happens? I will be finding it difficult now. So please don't work now. No, fine. After I complete everything, you can work. Fine. No, 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 no. So the next activity is what? You had to collect it. No. You'll not go and then perform the collection. So click on it. You'll not go to the collection, actually. I'm, go on. I'm not going to collect it. So go there. I will not go to the supply chain planning. <clears throat> And again, I will not perform a full collection because I have time now. So since I have time, I'm not performing a full collection again. Let me perform full collection. Otherwise, I have to collect only the objects. Fine. So since I have time, I'm not performing a full collection actually. Otherwise, uh, order orchestration reference object is more than sufficient. Since I have time, I'm not doing it now. Dana, sir, just a recap. Just a recap. I'm just repeating what I learned. So you have just defined the all the pro all the products assigned the structure, defined the structures, yeah. and then you have. Uh, uh, created ATP rules, assigned yeah. them into the uh, assignment set. Yeah. And then now you are collecting again yeah, because uh, you have collected earlier. Yeah. Right? So when you do the collection again, what happens is this is sufficient actually. But since the systems are behaving erratically, I will not perform a full collection. This is more than sufficient. And and sir, and Anna, sir, you have you have assigned one this set that that assignment set that you have just now created, you have assigned assigned it to the admin profile, right? Yeah, That's, that is also. And remember, I made a full collection. In the first set, 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 set thing, we have done it. If you are not doing okay. the full collection, what I have to do, I'll tell you. In the first time, what happens? You do that. You go to the item, and then you go to the item structures, and then work definition. Work definition will be coming automatically. Fine. If you're doing only the selective collections on the first time, items, item structures, and work definition has to be collected. Once when you put item structure, work definition will be coming automatically. Remember. So if you're not doing a full collection, yes. these are the three important ones which you do on the first time actually. Since I made a full yeah. collection, is a different one. But this is sufficient, actually. 
ஒரு <laughs> so once when the customer chooses the cordless mouse or a what am i say keyboard then whatever the pen drive is given to him free and then this is not going to be interface to manufacturing at all the pto model will never get interface to manufacturing and so it will not have any real work definition actually so previously i used to make a hybrid model in the top a hybrid model will be having a ato model come pto model in reality it will be like this ato model will be interface to manufacturing and then the pto model will never be interface to manufacturing it will be interface to shipping directly as and when the customer chooses these components they will not go to awaiting shipping directly they will not go to the awaiting shipping directly right that is what is that work definition is not required if you have a whole model itself as a pto model it is called pick to order model this is called assemble to order model you got it now okay very complex one now right? so i am not now it is not demonstrating it takes a long time and so 3 hours is not sufficient for me to demonstrate this now fine that's why i'm not doing this now actually what is the key difference nana sir uh, between uh, ato and uh, ato is going to be manufactured received from the manufacturing organization then go to ship manufacture receive and ship in a pto it is only a simple ship for the pto your whole recording is available for the no <laughs> i did it long time back i never had a recording at all right <laughs> maybe some five to is eight years back or something like that long time back i did a pto fine i don't have a recording actually <laughs> i didn't record at the time actually it was done in the oracle university fine so i took a whole day and then i did it like oracle university will never allow me to record at all fine it is strictly banned actually i should never record at all i did it in oracle university only i don't have that okay so there is no star item gets created right nana sir it will be creating a star item but again what happens it will never be interface to manufacturing it will be interface to shipping actually a pto will be interface to shipping actually Okay, thank you. That's the only. Yeah, thanks. What is star item? I am going to come to that. I am going to come to that. The next topic is star item. Okay, the star item I am going to come to. Fine. So this is what I am saying. So we'll not go there. So let me go on then. First of all, collect everything. Fine. So click on. Let me collect that. Fine. Because we have time. We are going to collect. Now, fine. Click on the reference object. Fine. Everything is collected. Fine. Go there. Go there. Go to the place. Fine. Click on something. Fine. We are going to collect everything. Fine. We have time. So that is why I am collecting it now. Now the next is what star item. Fine. Go there. So go there. so whenever the customer chooses this component no fine it is a on this one he is not choosing a gb ram on this one he is choosing a ups on this one something 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 he is choosing it so all these things put together you will have one model and then all the components coming as a single level bill fine it may be having a multiple indentation but all of them will now appear as a single level bill for the manufacturing agency fine so that single level bill is known as a star item fine the system will be getting a star item upon submitting the sales order right it will be getting a star item right so the star item how it is going to look like you are going to configure it now and go that you can the star item configuration you are going to do and go to the setup and maintenance and then you will now configure the star item <clears throat> go there thank you on it you will now go to the setup and maintenance <clears throat> you will now go to the manage item class so manage person dash fine item person dash class person dash so we are now going to configure the star item and go to the manage item class so go to the place and go that you want i will not i am not working on the root item class and go that so click on it you know it so i will now go to the item management in the item management how the star item is going to be done fine it will be sequence generated you know, starting number is 100 and then what happens is the model item number actually fine it can be anything now actually or none or user defined actually the model item number increment by 10 actually and then suffix is none and then the delimiter is as asterisk asterisk is basically a star actually so you can even have a hash hyphen so normally a asterisk is put asterisk is put this is called a star so whenever the system created an ato item that is famously known as a star item actually so my model number is what my model number is what 1230184 desktop model star fine star 100 will be the first item my model star 100 will be the first ato item which the system is going to create for manufacturing it actually fine so we can have any combination clear on this now is already set and so i am not doing it it will be normally sequence generated 
configure item number generation method is sequence. So it is what my number star hundred and then uh, what am I saying? That will be the star item. So in Oracle EBS, Nana, they have a custom hook yeah. uh, <laughs> where you can name it as per your. So yeah, I believe yeah, that there are so many weeks. options. Are there. Every option Correct. of EBS is not come over here. No? <laughs> there are yeah, so that's what. So is it is it is it here or not? Not sure. The hook, I'm not very sure, but it you will be having so, even much more. No? Try to discuss these things in the Tijil's training. Probably he'll be able to even highlight more on this. And I'm not very sure about it. Then maybe some other things. Is it similar to uh, a serial number, Nana? No, no, no. Like, no. It is not a serial. No. It is not a serial. Serial numbers so because, are because okay. When 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 we say number increment, serial numbers so, are what you are pre you are predefined and then manual entry, extrapolation, all those things are there. Fine. So there is a different. Right. There is a different. There is no similarity at all. So when we produce first item, it will be named as star 100 and then it ah, increment by it, 10, 10 like that? Exactly, exactly. The first number will be star 100 and then when you create again, what happens, it will be increment by 10. And then inventory, that particular item will be kept in inventory for 100 days, 90 days actually. And then if nobody is again making a same configuration, like what happens, 8 GB RAM and then UPS, etc, etc. If a same number is created, it will not create a new item, it will not assign the same item to the ATU item actually. The same oh. item number will be assigned to the same item if the components are same, actually. The components yeah. are same, it will be assigning it. Mm -hmm. And then that ATY item will be remaining on in the inventory for 90 days, actually. Afterwards, what happens if there is no stock, it will not delete it automatically. It will not delete it automatically. And then whenever again the same person comes in, it will be creating another ATY item, actually. Right? The ATY item, which is now created by the system, will be kept in the inventory for 90 days. And then if there is no stock, it will get deleted, actually. So when when we say ATO, it's a manufactured item, right? So manufacturable uh, component, right? Through... ATO item actually. Right? From right. the ATO model, we are now going to create an ATO item now. Okay. Yeah. So give a cancel. Okay. Sorry, so no. the ninety days uh, thing is it uh, something? Yeah, settings? that is controllable actually, but I don't know how to do it now. Right? Ninety days, oh. one twenty days, one day is all controllable. But uh, again, uh, since I don't know manufacturing, I'm not aware about where to go and then set it up actually. <laughs> that is not known to me actually. Well, then everything now. Next is what pricing. Fine. So the uh, what's called the star item configuration is now complete. Actually, next is what pricing. So some companies will say my desktop model will now co cost you thirty five thousand INR. Fine. Mm -hmm. Either you choose eight GB or sixteen GB. Either you choose two year or APS or whatever it is. Fine. Whatever component you are choosing it, you have to pay a fixed price of thirty five thousand. So for which what happens? We will now give the price of the model. Actually, we go there. We will now give the price of the model. Thank you, We will now go and then give the price of the model. You're not going to give a price of the model. So go to the order management. Now, fine. I'm not going to give the price of the model. Go to the place. Fine, go there. So I'll not go to the order management. And then I go to the pricing. Now, fine. Let us now give the price of the model. Actually, <coughs> the model's price has to be done. Go to the manage pricing list. And go there. So manage pricing list. I will not choose either the corporate. Now, fine. Corporate. So we have a corporate segment prices there. Fine. That is used by the vision, actually. The vision is using this. Now, fine. So we'll not go there. Go to the corporate. So I'm not going to give a what happens a price for the model i mean model fine thing on item so go to this place fine go there it is a one t3 and then give a tap one t3 is a model number fine don't come now so one t3 make a search come on what is it not coming the model has to come over here now it is one t3 only now so it's not coming one T and then I make a search now. Hmm. I don't know why it's not coming actually. It has to come. Maybe uh, the collection program is still running because of which is not coming. So the collection is still running. So let us now wait for the collections to complete for the order orchestration reference object. Maybe that may be the reason. I'm not very sure about why it's not coming. Actually. One to three more models. No, no, sir. Yeah, you don't price the model. You price the. Uh, See, there are two you... ways of pricing. One way of pricing is what? Uh -huh. I give a 35,000 as a price. Whatever you choose, you have to pay 35,000. Fine. That is one way of pricing. Okay. So the next way of pricing is what? 8 GB will not cost something. This will cost something. Exactly. But everything yeah. will have a separate price, actually. Yeah. And then you will now roll out to the yeah. top. Actually. Exactly. So for which, what happens? I have now given all items price. Fine. I have already given all items. Fine. I don't know why it's not coming. Fine. You cancel. So I have already given an all item price when give a cancel one. Right? I have already given all item price. I will not show you. So <clears throat> you will not give a price of each and every component. Now. If you go to the all items and then query for it, I give a $1 each. Right? 
is a buy now fine so go there click on have no what was it pricing units of metal each not fine each and then go there so click on search now fine search so i have already given all items price is one dollar so in reality you won't be giving less you will be giving the price of each and every component and then whenever the customer chooses it will be getting rolled up to the top it it will be getting rolled up to the top and remember all items price is not applicable for the model actually it is not applicable model must have an exclusive price all items price is not applicable for the model actually all items price is not applicable for the model. so we had our exclusive price on this one right? i don't go there i don't know take copy the model over there so that you want i will not go to the placement level so i will not go to the item level and then i will not try to add the item over right? here i will click on plus one right? i will not put the whole item over here right? i will not paste it there are extra spaces there delete all the spaces now and then give a tap and now so that it comes up come on come on it is not coming at all 130180 your desktop model is not coming what is the problem oh god i don't understand it normally comes actually nana sir can you check with that imo if anyone changed with that one which one which one the item validation organization <laughs> oh god when people you... fiddle around it will be very difficult i don't know i no, 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 i'm not sure just uh, check with that one sir once if you don't mind oh god right click and then duplicate now fine i'll not check the item validation organization now if i us change it also fine so people fiddle around lot and then what happens it make life miserable actually in the instances in the vision instances uh well no more that people don't click on search now fine i'll not go to the manage pricing parameter you know see whether the ivo is correct or not click on it so for my organization the ivo has to be there if you want I'm not going there. What is the item validation organization? You must have the operation. Oh God! Click on it. I'm not saying that is there. I'm going there for all business unit is zero zero zero. Fine, it's okay. Use one business unit. What happens? Oh God! This is a mistake now. It should not be zero 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 one. No, fine. It must be zero zero. Somebody has changed it. God, this is wrong. See so what to do with these people. No, fine. It must be master. No? It must be operations actually. Oh God. you must have a entry for every business unit remember you must have a entry for every business unit okay use one business unit fine it must be operation actually this is not required fine so each and every employee it must be a master or fine very correct who has told it now what is the name who has told this now he has given an observation of fine so click on save and close krishna krishna has told oh god fantastic our del krishna is really very good here so go there so it's not done we will not go to the price list and then again give the fine give a magnifier now fine go on So go there, paste it, and then make a search. Now, fine, click on search, search. Come, 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 come. Item is still not coming. Maybe extra spaces are there. So click on search. Otherwise, what happens? I will not log out and log in because I made a change. Now, fine, click on it. So let me log out and log in and then see. Now, fine, click on it. So click on it. I will log out and sign out and sign in. <laughs> so click on confirm. I'm not signing. Thank you for signing. So the other tab regions I have to close. I'm not close all of the tab regions. So this is a problem of working in the mission actually. You know, feel fed up with so many changes here and there. People with half knowledge they work on it. No, without knowing things, they keep on changing something to something, and then that is not the correct way of learning actually. Then what to do? we can't do anything at all corporate segment crisis you know what i mean no go there and try to so here what i am going to give a plus no is a 1t3 is a 1t3 and i'm give a tab no so it comes up fantastic is coming fine <laughs> krishna thanks no thanks for us so click on create charge no click on create charge i don't got to create charge let me have a charge of 100 dollars 100 dollars is charge hello man so go that click on it so the more in my case what happened the model is going to cost you 100 dollars and every component is costing 1 dollar but you have to do it appropriately clear on this now on the pricing fine so there are two ways of pricing you put the price of each and every component which the customer is going to choose and then that will be added to the desktop let us say the desktop model will have let us say 10000 as a cost and then whenever he adds it that will be getting added to the desktop right this is for the frame and then the monitor everything put together for this one right? and then the additional components will be adding extra is it clear on the pricing front fine give us a one close now let us now experiment on this 
will not experiment on thank you very much will not experiment on the sales order thank you very much. so i hope that the collection would have got, got completed so let us now go there and then get a sales order directly thank you number there mama sir i have a question where do you specify how the model how the star item is going to be priced eventually i am going to show where you, you specify that no the customer oh. is going to choose and then he will now submit the sales order automatically the star item gets created actually no 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 that's not the question the question is how is the star item going to be priced you said it can star be item, yes. price i will not show you the pricing now i am not going to see now see all the components are 1 dollar each now right? because each everything no. all items is 1 dollar but, but where is it going to be you going to show that i'm going to show it to you wait so how wait, the wait, pricing wait. is going to happen please wait please wait i'm going to okay, show okay. you i'm okay. going to show it to you fine i'm going to show you the pricing now thank you much so let me put this 1301 on my sales order i will not go to the order management and then let us now show the pricing of this thank you i will not show the pricing now fine so click on create order so go to the create order and go to the convert i will not get order so yesterday also somebody would have made the validation org wrong because of which i'm failing actually fine i was feeling like anything and so i am not sure about it many people would have said so many problems man so computer fine with that computer service and coomp sometimes coomp is required sometimes coomp is required and that one so once you put it you will not get everything and then check your pricing segment and strategy now fine go to the view pricing segment and strategy fine it must be corporate segment group 1 and then corporate pricing strategy group 1 now fine if these two things are coming that means what nobody has fiddled around on the pricing is okay thank you so i will not put my 1t3 One T three zero one is the one. Fine, give it up. That is the item I'm going to put. This is a configurable item. Fine, it's now coming as a configurable item. So we have given a price of this model as hundred dollars. That is coming. Now he is going to configure it. So the model must have a price. Remember, if the model is not having a price, it will not work at all. Even though we are given all it is price as one, if you are not given the model price, it will now have a zero price, and then he cannot even submit the sales order. Clear on this now? <clears throat> so model must have a price. It may even have a zero price also. You may even have a zero price, and then only the components price will be rolled up, or whichever way you want to do it. You can give a fixed price, and then no price for the components, or some price for the components. So there are multiple ways of pricing. Actually, is the pricing clear on the model now? I will now go on and show it to you. Fine, go there. So click on the configure that. Fine, right? click on configure and add. And go there. So click on the configure and add. He is going to configure it. So go there. So now 8 GB RAM and 16 GB RAM is there. So the customer has to choose one of them now. So the moment he chooses, what happens? The price will be added by one dollar. Right? The price is also coming in the back end right? because all in the price is coming. Otherwise, he will be having a separate price. If the customer chooses, he is not aware. I want eight GB RAM or sixteen GB RAM. I don't know. If the customer says he keep it as none. And remember, this is a mandatory option class. This is a mandatory option class. One and only one is the choice. If the customer says none, what the system will do? Not tell me. He has to choose something. And he says I don't know what to choose because I am not an expert on this computer. He will not see. Simply keep it as none and then go away. So what the system will do? Anybody make a guess now? Because it is one and only one. This is this bill is a one and only one. The customer has chosen none now. Fine. What the system? It will use error. Error or it will take no, no error. No error. It will take the first one by default. It will take the first one exact. Fine. Telag is very correct. It will automatically choose the first one if the customer chooses none because since it is going to be one and only one, the system will automatically choose the first one now. Fine. He is not choosing the second one now. So since it is a radio button, you can choose only one, either this or that. The next one is what? It is the accessory options. Fine, one or any. You can choose one or any actually. Fine, one or any. Fine, go there. The one, one or any. Fine, go there. Can you choose zero? Can you choose zero? If he chooses nothing, what will happen? No, nothing. I mean, he cannot choose zero. He can. He can choose zero. What is? He can do anything. He can choose zero also. If he chooses zero, what will happen to the system? No, because it is what one and one or any. So what will do now? It will throw an error. No, no error. No error. error. It will not choose no. what. It will accept the order without this. No, take the first two years warranty first automatically. Item. Mm, first item. First item. The first item will be taken automatically if he chooses nothing. Customer may not be knowledgeable on these components actually. Fine. If he doesn't know what happens, it will be choosing the first one because both of them are mandatory option classes. Since it is a double, he can choose both also. It is called one or any. But if he chooses nothing, it will automatically chooses the. What happens? I will not choose nothing. You see, fine. Yes, choose nothing. It will automatically take the two-year warranty. Got it now? Because no, one no, is you do the none on the first one also. Let's first one also. Now I will not show you. Fine. I, because I am choosing here one, and then here I am choosing nothing. Now I will not see both the. So both the options, both the different flavor. I am choosing it now. The third one is what? It is what zero or one? 
at the maximum you can choose only one now fine one of the cameras only you can choose fine. so there is again a radio button now you can choose a 720 camera or otherwise 120 m camera now tell me if it says none what will happen if it says none what will happen it will allow nothing will be chosen because it's totally optional actually zero is also possible here here zero is not possible and so what happens here zero is very much possible zero is very much possible so if it is nothing nothing will be chosen actually similarly here also what happens there are graphics card and here what is what it's called zero or any so if he can choose both also he can choose both also and if he chooses nothing what will happen if he chooses nothing what will happen nothing will be chosen because nothing zero be is possible in these two cases zero is possible in these two cases zero is not possible now so we are going to test the configuration there whether what happens the two year warranty is coming up or not automatically check it on the slide so one component here one component here and then finally one component so how much he has to pay now tell me how much he has to pay now one component here one component here and then one component here how much he has to pay now plus three is the price he has to pay 103 now fine 100 for the main model and then everything is now having one one dollar each and so he has to pay 103 now one three. fine got it so 103 is the amount he has to pay now fine click on finish now fine we are finishing it fine go that's not you can now see the two year extended warranty will be automatically selected you can see the two year extended warranty is automatically selected even though he has done nothing on this now got it now fine so click on the more it will not show you the price breakup actually if you click on the more it will not show whatever he has configured that price breakup it will not show on this on the right hand side any doubts is a very complex one and then you have to think think and then accordingly price it now so nana sir had a question here yeah if the component doesn't have a price that means the price you have a zero price you have to put a zero that, price there yeah put the price is zero in the pricing of the product is included in the model itself that's what i'm saying now you make configure as a price as a zero all items price as zero means what none of the components will have a price or individual components you put up zero price whichever way you feel like the individual components yeah. let us say this joystick i don't want to charge him fine put the joystick price exclusively as zero so zero will now supersede the all items price if you have a zero price on a joystick all items price is one zero only will be applicable because the all the items price will now supersede the all items price actually getting it any doubts on this now on the pricing yeah. got it now fine so the moment i submit it the star item will be created for the selective ones whatever you selected the star item gets created now thank you got it so click on submit the star item gets created but it will not progress at all because we are not done everything perfectly <clears throat> probably it will also progress actually it will also be progressing and it will be getting progress also because we already done the collection also right then collection so what happens it will be getting progress to manufacturing actually we will not see whether it goes to manufacturing or not thank you for it it has to go to manufacturing so every other setup is not fully complete actually thank you for that somebody has now added one thing of thank you for the the customer sub end what happens there is a, we will not come to that next week or next next week you know so go there go to the actions and then here i go to the what edit additional information it's called sn and flux field which is like one of the guy has configured i will not go to the customer details and go there so go there click on plus now fine <clears throat> so you know a customer end must have a value actually fine i will not give one value we will be seeing about it next week or next next week so i will not put something thank you comment so click on okay now i will not submit it i have no submit it so excellent flux field has been configured that way is not going ahead now fine we will not see whether it gets interface to manufacturing or not first of all this total thing has to be interfaced to manufacturing now the total thing will be getting interfaced to manufacturing now. because the we are now done the collection of this also right we are now in a perfect perfect so every setup on the gop is also complete it has to get interfaced to manufacturing but not interfacing it then i can't help it now thank <laughs> you so good actions and then go to system will be fine so i hope that this instance works perfectly fine go there so i will now click on the hyperlink of it now fine go there on the hyperlink so this has to get interfaced to manufacturing or you clear on the one, zero or one fine one and only one and then one or any fine these are the mandatory process if he doesn't chooses any the system automatically chooses the first one no got it now fine go there so go there to one no coming fine click on refresh now fine i'm refreshing it so click on refresh now so you know scheduling has started so after scheduling the reserve has to change what it has to get changed actually request orchestration of supply after the scheduling is completed yesterday even scheduling was not getting completed on the other instance you know see ah scheduling has got completed see it has got changed very good fantastic it is working perfectly 
This instance is working perfectly. So at 9.45, I'm going to show you a simple back-to-back -back make. No, thank you. It's not working perfectly. It's not coming. And then ship back-to-back -back goods is also coming. Thank you. I think it will also get interfaced to manufacturing actually. Thank you. So again, the pass is waiting actually. Fine. The pass will wait only when what? If you have this, no, fine. right click on the duplicate. No, fine. Click on duplicate. So somebody might have enabled that profile. No, fine. So pass should not wait at all. So go there. The pass should not wait at all. The pass should not wait at all. I will not go to the manage order parameters. Go to the setup and maintenance. I will not go to the manage order parameters. So I will not go to the manage order parameters. So manage percentage fine. Order percentage fine. Para percentage fine. And manage order parameters. We go there. Thank you. And then uh, this is on the geo actually. Fine. Go there. Click on it. I will not put the geo. No. So percentage geo percentage. I will not go there. So it is only no now. Fine. It is no that should not wait at all. No geo party is going to be checked actually. There may be some other profile which is not stopping you from progressing actually. Fine. You should not wait at all. You should never wait. Fine. Some other people have fiddled down some other things. Fine. So go there. So I will not manually uh, what happens. I clear the pass actually. Fine. Go there. It is. It is not a one. Fine. It is one. You enable order orchestration plan process planning. What a geo party. Fine. This should be normally should know. Fine. Only in rare cases you'll be setting it as fine. This is no only. But again, what happens is not getting done. Fine. So that is why in working in vision is really very, very difficult actually. So now what happens? I will not go there, go to the place. And then let me run it manually if I go to the place. I will not go to the monitor process. I will not go to the monitor process. Go to the monitor process. Go there. So go there. I will not, what happens? Release pass task actually. I will not release the pass task. So it is not waiting. So what happens? I'm going to forcibly release it actually. I will not forcibly release it. Go to the monitor process. Go there. So I will not say release pass task. Release pass task. Give a tab. I'm going to release it manually. So you'll now see whether it works or not. Fine. Release pasta. Thank you. I'm releasing it now. Thank you. Okay. And then I have to put the order number over here now. You have to pass on the parameter. Fine. So 100420. A charso bees. Yeah, come karega again. So click on submit now. Fine. I'm opening order number. So one of the parameters are mandatory. Fine. Click on submit. Go that you want. I will not refresh it now. Fine. Click on refresh it. If it works, it will be great actually. No hope. No, no, sir. Release pass task is uh, is like a workflow workflow background process in It's not a background process. Else? It has got stuck in this place. We are releasing it actually. We are releasing it. It's not a workflow. Background. So you are you are pushing that. Uh, yeah, we are go... pushing it to go in the workflow now. Fine. Don't stop that. Oh. Fine. go ahead now. No consider now. What happens? The release pass task is waiting. Is not complete. Fine. Click on the platform. And is this is this only for? It will not go to the uh, status of awaiting shipping now. I had yeah. Only for manufacturing item or for all? No. Of any the pass items? can be released by this now. Fine. By oh, okay. whatever is a pass. Fine. Even if you configure the manual pass also, that can be done now. So click on it now. Fine. Release pass task is still not working now. Oh God. And there is a manual program. It has to release now. Well, sir, what is the concept of this pass? The pass is, let us say, the customer is asking the middle after one to three days. Either time, what happens? Oh, it will, okay. it will not okay. do. And then if you release it okay. very near to the shipping time, what happens? It will get released actually. Fine. But if something okay. else is it causing the pass not to get released actually. Yeah, yeah. It is not something, okay. it is not causing it to not to get released actually. That's why what happens? It's not going hard now. Even when I run the pass task, fine. No, got release pass task has got succeeded. The, some aspect of this is not allowing you to go hard on this. Fine. It's still waiting on this. I don't know which which person is not customizing so many things now. I will not go to the fulfillment lines. We will not see whether the score is now created or not. I don't want to go to the see in the place. What I'm ah, score order is created. Fantastic. Fine. The score order is created. Beautiful. Fine. The supply chain orchestration order number is there now. Fine. That. It is there. But even though it is now waiting, fine. I will not go and then see in the manufacturing whether everything is there or not. We will not right click and then do it. Murga. It has to be there actually. I will not go to the place. I will not check for it now. Fine. I will not go there. Come on. I will not click on what I will not go to the supply chain management. I will not go to the supply chain execution. And then I go to the orchestration or no, supply orchestration. I will not go there straight away. I will not query for it. It has already got interface because what happened? The score order is now created. The supply chain orchestration number has come. The score order is created. Fine, go that not. I will not go to the supply orchestration and then I will not query for it. Let us not query for it. Whether we can manufacture it or not, I will not say. So click on it. I will not go there. So go to the managed supply lines and then we will not query for it. <clears throat> you're not going to query for it. So click on it. And then I will now go on and search fine. Starts with fine 1T3. 
Fine. One T three is the one. Fine. Click on search. So it gets interfaced to SCO. Fine. SCO is nothing but adopter. So the incoming demand will be met with one of the supplies of make buy a transfer. In this case, it's make actually. Fine. So the incoming de demand will be mapped to one of the buy make or transfer. So the SCO acts as an adopter actually. It acts as an adopter. Fine. It is already interfaced to manufacturing. Fine. Click on it. I don't see whether the order is now created. You will not go on and have a look at it. Is the orders created or not? So go there, click on it. It will create the order actually. In the meantime, what happens? I will not right click on the duplicate. Now, fine. Duplicate. I will not have a look at this. What happens? You are configured number. Now, fine. So the order is created. If you go to the execution documents, it will not show you the work order number actually. Fine. It will not show. Keep your cursor on the second line. Fine. Awaiting work order creation actually. Fine. It's not saying awaiting work order creation. Fine. It is not in create. So in the meantime, what happens? It will not go there. It will not have a look at our number. Now, fine. Click on it. it will not have a look at the star item number. Now, fine. I will not go to the product information management. And then we will not say the star item number. So it is not saying what. Awaiting work order creation is not yet created actually. So SCO is an adopter which will now map the incoming demand to an appropriate supply actually. In other case, our uh, uh, GOP setup is now saying manufacturing. I will not go there and then have a look at the star item which is now created. So go to the place. I will not go to the browse items and then query for the item 1T3. I am going to query now. Let us not query for it. So let us not query for it. So 1T3 is the one. So you will not see the model as well as the star item being created actually. Thank you, You will see the model as well as the one. So, ADO model is there. Fine, go there. So, if you go there, so the system has already somebody has created so many things. Fine. My 1T301, so and so star 170 is now created. So, this is a star item. So, this will be interfaced to manufacturing actually. Got it now? Fine. This will be interfaced to manufacturing. So, if I do the next one, that will be 180 actually. Got it now? Fine. So, you go to the manager supply lines. Fine, go there. So, I will now click on refresh now. Fine. Refresh. The work order would have got created actually. Still awaiting work allocation. Maybe that may be because of the pass actually. And how that pass has come now? Fine. Oh God, I don't know. Fine. Somebody has made something and then because of it, the pass is happening. Otherwise, it will be coolly going on. That. What is the line type in the order, sir? The line type in the order. Where is the line type? There so, is no line type at all. No, in the order lines itself, not in the fulfillment view. In the fulfillment view, fine. Click on done now. Can you go back? Yeah, click on the go to the line type order line. To the order type, no, fine. You're saying order lines, you're saying yes, yes. You go to the order lines. So the desktop model fine. the processing is not coming. There is no line. type coming in there. So line type is nothing but we are overriding it, fine. We are overriding the workflow with them. You Correct. There, there it was yeah. uh, showing some custom workflow. Once again, if you click on it, whatever you can now see the workflow. Fine. Custom do is okay. Fine. Order fulfillment generic process is okay. Actually. Fine. Oh. Order fulfillment generic process is okay. This do is okay. Actually. Maybe they have customized. They might have customized. That's all. So many people are working. Ah, it has gone to awaiting shipping. Very good. Fine. The status has gone to awaiting shipping. Fantastic. So the pass got released automatically. Thank God. <laughs> it was waiting for some time and then it got released. Right? So go there. Maybe some internal, uh, what I must say, yeah, lag might have been given on the workflow actually. Internal lag, and then it has got completed, and then it's gone to everything shipping. Now you can very well see on your what happens in this place, fine. It'll, it'll create the work order. Thank you, Contra Prashna. The work order has got created. Thank you, Contra The work order. So here, work order is created. Work order is created. So in this place, what happens? The pass waited for some time, and then it has completed. So somebody might have customized his workflow to wait for some, let's say, one or two minutes, and then afterwards proceed ahead. And maybe some might have been introduced actually. Good. Then. So it has gone to everything shipping. Thank you, that. The work order is created actually. We got the work order number. Fine, go that you want. I will not go to the one. This is the work order number. W O 0021052 is the work order number. Fine, we'll go there and then have a look at the work order. Fine, right click on the duplicate number. We'll now go and then have a look at the work order. Good, fantastic. It is working. Hey, this instance is working well now. Fine. Everybody, please make a back to back make on this instance only. I'm now going to start the back to back make at 9 45 p.m. India. Fine. If you want to listen, you can come and then listen. So go there. I will not go to the supply chain execution. And then I will now go to what? Work execution now. Work definition is for creating a bomb and routing. This is for executing the job now. Fine, this is by executing. I will not go to the work definition, work execution, and then here, what happens? You go there. I will now have a look at the work order. Thank you. I will now have a look at the work order. Manage work order is the one. So, what is the work order number? Anybody remembering? It is what? WO0021052. Now, fine. 1052 or 62. It is 1052. Go there. Click on it. So, work order number is what? I will not put the item now. Fine. So one T three, fine. What happens? One seventy is item. Fine. So 
So one D three item, and not for the item on the side, not the yield item. For which, what happened? Can click on search. You are not seeing the search. Can click on search. I waiting scheduling. What happened? Make it as normal. Make it as all, and then make a search. And then here also, what I was make it as what, make a blank, and then make a search. So you'll not see the work order coming in. Fine. The work order is ready. Fine. Click on the hyperlink on the work order. You click on the hyperlink on the work order. So there you can see all the included items coming up on this. So he has chosen a 16 GB RAM. So once when he chooses 16 GB RAM, what happens? The one year warranty is the included item that will be coming on the manufacturing area. Fine. If you go to the operations, fine. You go to the operations. It will not show the operations. Fine. Is that tablet packing is the only operation fine with that? So the most part is one joystick is one. What is this here? Fine. Item six is six items are shown here actually. Fine. Three plus three six items. Fine. Click on three more now. Fine. So this is what is. So these are these are the items you are not shown there. Now. Fine. All items. So mouse pad, joystick, and then broadband, two year warranty. Fine. Once again, we will now check on the ten level now. Fine. Ten level. So he has chosen 10, uh, 9 years now chosen. So 11 is now coming over here now. He has, out of 9 and 10, he has chosen 10. So the 11th item is coming. Clear on this now, fine. The 11th item is coming. There is an included item. This guy has to, what happens, uh, pack it in the, they know how to manufacture it. Fine. They know how to manufacture it. Fine. So 9, 10, 11, 11 is coming. So 12, 15, you will not see. On the 1215. he has chosen 12. And then what happens, the 15 is now free for him. He has chosen 12, two-year warranty. So the 15th broadband is free. Fine. That is not coming over here as an item. The next one is what? He has, he has not chosen nothing. None. The camera. Fine. 16, 17. He has not chosen any camera, I think. Fine. 16, 17 is not coming. So here he has chosen something. Fine. 19, 20, 21. He has chosen a graphic card or joystick, I think. Fine. Graphic card or joystick. Fine. Joystick has chosen. So 21 is free. So three components he has chosen. And then three are free for him now. Fine. They will be integrated in the manufacturing area. Clear? Any doubts on this now? A very, very tough topic, actually. Now, one, I had a question here. Yeah. Why is the warranty actually showing up? Is it because it's you have chosen like it? this? Not fine. Our bill is like this. So, one year warranty is that free. Is if you choose eight or it's in GB RAM, that is not free. You can no, no, choose no, whatever you want. But why is it showing on the work order? That's what I'm actually Because thinking. this guy has so, to integrate it on the desktop, actually. When they are manufacturing it, that particular free items also will be integrated. For example, the mouse pad, they will not stick it on the side of the lap, lap desktop. No? They will not but integrate warranty, it. Warranty is not an item. Right? Warranty will be given no, as a, they will not make so, a print. Fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Warranty will be given as a printed paper, actually. Fine. Like, oh, like, okay. a, like okay. a, like okay. a, it's not a shippable uh, item. Fine. Barcode, like a barcode. <laughs> Whatever it is. <laughs> oh, okay. They will stick what, it out. What, they will uh, stick okay. it out. Okay. Even, even yeah, license, licenses are sold, right? Each license yeah, yeah, costs exactly. something. So yeah, yeah. they have a count, all that. So it'll it'll attach. So there will be some uh, yeah, like yeah. Uh, yeah, exactly. You are a yeah, card something. or something. They are they are going no, to keep it on that sure. packaging. Maybe 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 warranty card. It's kind of a thing. Yeah yeah. Warranty right, card right. will be kept on that place maybe. <laughs> right. <laughs> Got it now. Right? But so no, no, customer has chosen no, three and then three are now included items. Included items will now go to the manufacturing and then they have to add this into the package into the desktop actually. Got it now? Yeah, also just to just to add, like not only the warranty if customer purchases additional warranty, also yeah, they yeah. can whatever yeah. it is, whatever you the way you configure your bill, actually. Yeah, the way it is you configure it, everything will be coming out. What I mean to say is what well, the included item will be given to the manufacturing area, but not to the customer. Customer may not to configure the included items. He he may be told when you choose HGB, you will be given one year warranty free, but he cannot choose this because these are the only competing options. Actually. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, why they have to put the warranty card is because they have to put the serial number on that warranty maybe, card. Maybe, 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 yeah. Correct. Very correct. No, thank you. Hey, Jala. Nana, sir. Jala, na? what is your name? Here? This guy is now answering beautifully. Actually, uh, actually it's my wife's uh, laptop. Uh, oh, Nana, God. Jagaraj. Jalaj is there. Jagaraj. You are yeah. Jagaraj. Okay, fine. Yeah. <clears throat> so, Jagaraj alias Jalaj is now answering beautifully. Fine. So, please uh, take a note of it now, fine. So, you are known as a Jagaraj in the group or what exactly? Yes, yes, Nana. Yeah, hey, Raj, if you have any problem in configuring your this thing, fine. I'm only giving you a very elementary knowledge on the what happens the back to back make actually. Fine, it's not a full knowledge actually. Fine. So in that case, what happens? You can even contact others, and then you're getting stuck. It's a very complex one actually. And then there is a sir. yeah. Sir, Nana sir, before executing the work order, yep. the status should be unreleased, sir. But here is showing I, release. It will be Status. coming as a release, fine. It's not coming. Fine. So once when the sales order is now, once when the supply orchestration has created a work order, 
it automatically sets it to release that. Okay. This is the supply of session. Now we are going to execute it. Now fine, we are going to execute the order. We are going to execute the order. So as of now, I mean, there is no stock fine over that. So uh, we are asked only for one quantity, isn't it fine? Over that? So quantity is only one. So if you click on the work definition, it will not show you all the work definition. Over that. So go to the item structure. It will not show the item structure. Fine. Over that. It will not show everything. And then click on the details. It will not show everything. Fine. Over that. You are not showing everything. Over that. Over that. Over that. Over that. And then the company. Nana, sir, do we have the stock of these items? Scope means stock, stock of these items. We are, we are not having any stock because of which what happens, I have enabled the allow negative balances basically. <laughs> so when I execute it, whatever the inventory will be driven negative actually. But it really what happens, we had to have a stock. We had to have a stock. But since I have allowed negative balances, it will not allow me to complete the job. Okay. So you can open a product, work definition, everything area, you can go on the sheet, fine. It will all be fully explained in the digital study. Fine. fine. It will not go to completed sub inventory upon completion. So we are now seeing on the work order area, the operations, the free items, everything you are not seeing. Any doubts on this now? Fine. Now we will now manufacture the product. It is already in the release status. Fine. Now release status fine. So click on done now. So we are now given the manage work orders and is in. Now we will now go to the dispatch list. We are now going to manufacture it. We will now go to the place and then we will now manufacture the product. So go to the place fine. Review dispatch list where I am going to begin my manufacturing. I will be beginning manufacturing. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh God, my wife has brought tea. Now it's the food. Okay. Yeah. So click on this. Let me have a tea and then come back now. No, pass the recording. <clears throat> Alt P. So like, uh, can you can you repeat now? The recording is going on fine. Can you repeat your statement actually fine for benefit of others actually? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So so if there is a stock existing for a particular. Uh... Configurable A2 item, A2 yeah, A2 item. A2 item. yeah, that too, that too, the, it it should match that uh, whatever yeah, you told the star item, item. Yeah, 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 that matches. And if the stock exit, it will uh, it will go to the awaiting shipping directly, and it will not allow you to create a work order for it. Exactly, exactly. That's what he's saying. Right? Telek is saying. Yeah. So please do note. So if you have already a stock for the star item which the customer has configured, it will never be interfaced to manufacturing. Or oh, let's say five or oh, two are there, only the balance three will be interfaced to manufacturing. Good, good. Now. Let us now go to the review dispatch list and then query for it. Now, fine. So go there, click on that. I will now make it as all. The work center also, what happens? I will now make it as all. Now, fine. Go there. So item, what happens? I will now put the item. Fine. One T3 is the item. Fine. You better go to manufacture it. So manufacturing will be fully taught by Tijil actually. Fine. We will be teaching you. Fine. Click on search now. I will now put what does 170 item. There is a star item I am putting it, not the model actually. Fine. The star item I am going to choose. Now, fine. So choose the star. So click on search. So we are going to manufacture the product. We can manufacture it step by step, or otherwise in one go also we can manufacture. I put it. I will not say all. Again, status is all. Everywhere, all, 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 and then make a search. Because we are not querying on the item actually. So click on search. It will not show you this one. Expand it. <coughs> so it has got only one operation actually. Right, one operation. I can perform a quick complete or complete the details actually. So Tejal, do you have anything to add here? So click on complete. So you can even add extra item and then extra component, extra resources, etc., etc. That will all be taught in your manufacturing field. Thank you. Complete details. I'm going there. So click on it. I have a minimal knowledge on manufacturing. You will not give a manufacturing gym check on notes now. So it is in the black fish material. So click on next now. Fine. You'll go to the place. Auto auto transact resources now. We're going over there. So we are not. If you want to add additional resources, we can add it. Fine. Click on next. You, any additional materials or resources, we can very well add. Fine. Click on next now. In the next posh, what happens? We go there. So it will now be getting inventorized actually. You know, the instance of a resource also can be given now. Fine. So go to the next now. Fine. I'll now go to the inventory. Now, fine. Click on next. So go there. Status is okay. Fine. Click. Tick mark is coming. Fine. The tablet packing is the only operation we've done. Now, fine. Go that point. I will now give a save and close by which what happens? It gets inventorized actually. So click on the world. So the one component will be getting interface and that will be getting reserved also. The reservation is also all in there. Fine. So it says what it will be reserved actually. So the manufacturing is now getting completed actually. So the manufacturing is now getting completed. Oh, so no, no, regarding star item, yeah. uh, if the uh, order quantity is multiple, like some 100 or 200, mm -hmm. uh, the star item will have only one. Uh, item number is only item. one. Not fine. The quantity one, is one. Only, only the quantity one. changes. 170 oh. is the only item number. Item number is okay. only one, but the quantity is 100. Actually. Okay. So the increment is for next subsequent ah, next uh, configuration. Next, uh, next configuration. Actually. The increment oh. is for the next configuration. Actually. Got it so it has now gone to the completed sub inventory actually with the workout number. Now the score area will be also be updated now. 
if you go to the supply chain lines for that so here also what happens the work order completed will be coming thank you dr krishna it will be showing us what work order completed work order complete it is not got complete fine work order complete and then the say that there is no inventory the manager order will be showing us what the items available now fine goods available will be coming on the order so go to the case i will not go to the fulfillment lines it will not say it is no the order but the goods are available you see it is no more awaiting supply its goods are available now so click on refresh now fine click on refresh the goods are available now. so click on refresh now the goods will be available now goods available is come now we can very well ship the product now. so go to the place like right click and then duplicate we are now going to ship the product now. so now we are going to ship the product actually go to the place so is about thank you so we will not go to the place fine no go to the supply chain execution and go to the inventory management and then i'm going to ship the product click on it you know ship the product oh. So we'll now query on the order number now. Fine. So I had to change the order first of all to zero zero two now. Fine. Zero zero two is the order. Yeah. It's all clear now till now. Fine. Whatever I told. Any doubts till now? I go to the shipments and then I go to the manage shipment lines and then query one hundred four hundred bees. That is the order number. So go there. It is one hundred four twenty. Go on. I will now make it the before and then make a search now. Fine. Click on the make it the before and go there. Come on. And then click on search now. Fine. Click on search. Oh. The organization is not changed actually. <laughs> Change organization. I had to make it different. Zero zero two is the one. Thank you. That's one okay. So those who are working work on this instance, it is working perfectly now. Fine. <laughs> We don't know how long these instances these instances will work actually. That is the biggest problem. I'm sorry. Ah, they're not coming at all. Zero zero two. Fine. Click on okay now. Oh, why invalid org? Inventory. Change org. the organization. There Change no? the organization. I will not be a change the organization. Ah, this is another problem now. Fine. From the shipments area, we cannot change it, but from the inventory management, we can change. Now, fine. There is another problem. This is also I have seen. Now, fine. In the inventory management, if you go to the what's called, you go to the inventory and then change it. It's changing. Now, fine. From the shipment, it is not changing. I don't know why it's so. In the manage item quantities, we can change. From this place, it is allowing you to change. I don't know what is the problem. Here, I can change. So zero zero two. <clears throat> so click on it. So once when you change it, the shipment also changes. Oh God. Some idiotic method, actually. I've done it previously, also it happened like that only. <laughs> now it has got changed. Now you go there, go to the shipments. It will now show the zero zero two. Maybe some other things. I don't know. I'm not remembering why it's showing. Anyway, the workaround is not working now. So go there. One zero zero four two zero is the one. Fine, give it tap, and then click on it before, and then make a search. No, fine, click on search. So click on search. No, fine. It has to go inside. No, fine. No, go there. I will not do the pick release as well as the pick ship confirmation. I go to the actions, and then I will now launch the pick release. So the pick release, as well as the pick confirmation, will be done in one go now. Fine, we are not doing it. So we are done a lot of advanced shipping actually. So click on it now. It's all done now. It will now go to stage actually. In the ready release, what happens? It will be going to stage. Fine, go on. Come on, go. Everybody try to work on ESLL very fast now. <laughs> This instance is working now. Excellent actually. Instances don't work at all because they have the licenses for this thing now. Fine. So. Ask all your girlfriends to come after one week now. Fine, complete everything on this now. <laughs> Next week you try to complete everything now. Fine, and then do your other activities. Is now stage fine. Go there, click on save and close now. And then we will now do the ship confirmation. The ship number will be fine. Click on it. We will now do the ship confirmation. So click on it. Now a ship confirmation. I am going to perform now. Fine, go there. Click on ship confirmation. Fine, go there. It will now throw an error on what I am going to wait in volume. It doesn't matter. We can ignore it. Then go there. Ship confirmation. Fine, go there. Go there. So wait in volume is not okay. Fine, go there. So click on it. So wait in volume. It doesn't matter. We can ignore it. Then go there. Fine, go there. Go there. So wait in volume is not okay. Fine, go there. So click on it. Fine. It's not done. It's all done now. <clears throat> go there. So it is now shipped, and then it will be running now. SSA will be running. Fine. Right click on the duplicate. You can now see that send shipment advice is running. In many a places, SSA fails actually. Fine. My students say SSA fails by default because what happens? Certain uh, things have not been met properly at all. So they will not force it actually. If SSA fails, what happens? They will not run the manage shipment interface by which what happens? It gets forced. So only when SSA gets succeeded. It may say succeeded, but here order entry will be still saying what are awaiting awaiting shipping only. Fine order entry. So this happens for my students, and then they say that they have to attach the pro forma invoice, they have to do the uh, what about the pick slip report printing, all those things are there. So everything is all linked together actually. So if something something is wrong, they can even force the SSA to run again. No, that is what my students say. There are so many other aspects are there, sir. No. <laughs> So you know that. So if you come to Hyderabad, we will not tell you about what are all the things which are now linked to the SSA success actually. <laughs> so it's again a big topic in some companies actually. Fine. If SSA even if it succeeded upon succession, what happens? 
the shipping execution will be getting interface to order entry right this is responsible for it and sometimes it doesn't happen at all in that case what you do is you go there you go and then run the manage the shipping interface if there is not a big problem fine if it is a small problem then this will not work on fine manage fine shipment interface on that so ship percentage fine int percentage and then you have manage shipment interface this if it is a small problem and as i say this will work actually this is a master concurrent actually in the shipment area and then go the mode make it as all now fine and then if you know the specific shipment number you can put it otherwise leave it blank and then ship from organization 002 fine you give only minimal and then if you submit it this will now what happens the trigger again the ssa actually it's not submit now fine this will again spawn the ssa actually if you click on it what happens it will be spawning the ssa actually and this spawn will now sometimes will not succeed actually this manage shipment interface will be again spawning the ssa and then if the ssa has got stuck because of some minor problems it, it will be taken care of if it is a major problem this also will not help you have to address the problem got it now oh god it is not even spawned the ssa at all because ssa is previously secured at all. otherwise if ssa has got stuck it will not spawning it fine it is not spawned even fine. if you go to the place fine go that you want it i will not click on that now it will be saying shipped and then it will not go to awaiting billing it will not go to the orchestration plan it will not ship and then go there <clears throat> it will not go to the awaiting billing. invoice is not start so this completes a complete manufacturing configure the order and then manufacturing it are you all clear just a quick look because then uh, the star item is it actually an item with stockable properties yeah, uh, yeah it's stockable it that star 170 is very much stockable now if you go on the query on the inventory you can now see the uh, quantity also over there so i'll now go to the inventory now find the quantity i will now go to the supply chain execution and have a look at it. There's a stockable item. There's a configure. The star item is a stockable item. Fine. Go to the inventory management. So we can very well see the stock on this. This is a stockable item. Sure. So, so why there is a need for an increment? And uh, whenever we do again, after 90 days, we'll create one more uh, version. <laughs> what, what is the need of it? Oh, I don't know why the need and all. Fine. Don't ask me this question. I don't know. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> why do you want it? Fine. Why don't you? And that is the way it has been configured now. Fine. If somebody can answer his question, fine. Our Janaj, like Alayas Tyagarajan, fine. If you can answer, it will be great. Uh, no, actually, actually, uh, you think of a real scenario that uh, you you want to buy a laptop, okay, which has multiple options. Mm -hmm. You can go with uh, different types of hardware and different types of uh, RAM configuration, uh, warranty configurations, everything. So they will not keep every combination. Suppose you have ten combination, and if you see the permutation combination, you will end up like hundred. No. They will not result in creating all the hundred, and they will not allow you to keep a stock for all the hundred. Mm -hmm. so this is a this is a shortcut or this is the uh, flexible right. method which allows the manufacturer i will give all the options like this is something like you go to amazon and uh, make your like uh, there are so many places like you can choose your hardware the end product will if you confirm they will manufacture and send to you so same way if this is also like this was widely used in one of uh, my friend who was working for a woman there is a paint company they were trying to give up multiple combination as when you tell this is the combination i want they will finally manufacture that and give you like that is in process but uh, there also it is a kind of uh, configurable okay so when you say uh, there will be an uh, like model item model means it is not stockable when you give a model item and as uh, nana sir is configuring all the option under that you have fixed bombs uh, mutually exclusive optional everything so the customer can tick what option i want so if the configuration, the final configurable product is one item. So that is called a star item by Oracle. Okay, good. Thank you. Like, fine. Yeah, is so Tilak is having experience of the that... manufacturing also on eBay's actually. Fine. So yeah, in, in keep a note to... of Tilak and then if you have any doubts, what happens, you can even shoot it to him. Yeah, tell me. Yeah. Yeah. So in so, addition to that, you. also, no, there are the basically in the business, uh, uh, ERP business world, right? So there are two cases actually, make to stock and make to order. Okay, so now we are dealing with the make to order scenarios. So make to stock means where we have the prediction of that manufacturing assembly. So in, in <laughs> advance, we prepare and keep it in stock. That is a make to stock. Make to order is nothing but based on your customer demand. On the demand, mm -hmm. so we'll receive that sales order and configured all the component based on his requirement. Mm -hmm. And to you know, get an sales order to be executed further. Hey, Ramesh, go. how to do the make to stock actually? It is a simple uh, because you need a back to back only for yeah. me. 
yeah so make to stock is a yeah, simple manufacturing isn't it fine it goes ah, it is simple work order yeah, yeah, yeah. work order creation yes work order creation and then do it oh, yeah, yeah. yes sir simply create a work order manually and then i do it correct correct that is the make to stock that's right that, so make to that stock. The, also it is going to be impact your in transit time basically ah, so it is ready to make to stock it will immediately we can deliver to the customer within the ah, zero time zero yeah, yeah. zero time okay fine good okay and uh, this assemble to order scenarios it will it will get you some lead time basically okay. So five days or one week, no, that is the key differences. So now the score has got fulfilled. Actually, the score has got fulfilled. And so what happens? Nolan, and then if you go to the manager orders and see, it will go down to awaiting billing. Now we had to run the order invoice import, and then what happens? They push it into AR, and then do that. Then afterwards, finally close the line as well as the close the item. Even you know complete invoice also. So it's now awaiting billing. Everything is now complete. So this completes what a simple. Your configurator, and then uh, what happens? Uh, configuring it, and then manufacturing it also. Good, fantastic. One thing is, Nana sir, if we order the similar configuration item, the same then star the same item. one seventy will be allocated. If the same hmm. components are chosen, then it will not create a new item. Fine, the same one seventy will be allocated for this. If those components, the three components which are chosen, if another customer is also configuring the same three, then it will not create another new item. If the same star one seventy only will be used actually. So it will be saved in the system, right? Yeah, it will be saved in the system with the whatever choices he has made. Actually. Yeah, yeah. They may not have stock, but I think it will. Uh, yeah, yeah. It is not having a stock. Uh, also. You see, if you go to the yeah. item quantities, if you give a search, there is no stock at all because it's already shipped. Actually. Yeah, so it will stock. suggest you uh, the, yeah, same the same star number. Item. Right. It'll not, the same star item will be done. Now we are going to go for the tough topic now. Fine, configurator. Fine. The next topic is a very tough topic. Fine. It is the configurator now. Fine. So we will now have a, what's called a yeah, five minutes break now. Fine. So I have not already taken a key. I will not have some more snacks also and come back now, fine. So I uh, will now see whether Anil Boda will now make him as a co-host now, fine, the co-host. And please don't leave. So next topic is again a very tough topic. Please remain here. And then 8 5 I'm going to begin. If I am not able to complete by 9 o'clock, I may even take some more time now, fine. So 9.15, I'll be able to complete now. Yes. And remember, uh, my back-to-back -back make will be beginning at 9.45 p.m. India. So now, what happens? Uh, please remain here. And then the next topic is configurator, which is going to be a very tough one. Uh, configurator. So click on it. I will not go and then come back now. In about 8 5 p.m., I will be back.